Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'm working on a 657 scraper. One of the largest scrapers produced. You can see this thing is massive. My uh, top of my head is right there. So we've got a crack right there. Um, I'll post a picture I will post the picture I received and then I guess they had to run the machine so they just did a temporary weld over it to make it a couple more days um, but I'm here to cut all that out and fix it to the best of my abilities um, I do think that the machine should be separated and the whole plate cut out and all that redone but we're just going to cut all that out and weld it back up so but for now we're gonna do what we can. You can just see how massive this machine is. It's very massive. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're on top of the machine. You can see the scrapers out there working. So that's what we got to deal with. Um, I'll post a picture that I was sent and then the uh, mechanic put some weld on it, try to run it a couple more days. Doesn't appear that it has failed again, but we're gonna blow all this out and get it fixed up correctly. Um, yeah, I'll do these two bolts here probably lift these up out of the way with the crane should be able to get in there and get pretty much everything don't really have to worry about hard lines too much I just have to protect the cylinder all right we'll get these out of the way all right we got our lines out of the way here. I like to use wire just to kind of pull things up out of the way. Sometimes you have to use the crane in a strap to pull it if it's real heavy or being a pain in the butt. I have drilled a hole right here. And what I'm gonna do is use it as a starting point for my plasma. We're gonna have to remove this and then we'll weld it back on. And then I'm just gonna cut this whole, all, cut all these welds. Just cut all that out. Then we'll put a backing plate in there and then just weld it all up. Probably, I gotta see what it looks like, but we'll probably cut up to here and then we might like gouge and weld that up. I'm not sure, we'll see what it looks like when I get deeper in there. But this should be about an inch, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half thick right here. So, get the plasma out and we'll start cutting.
All right, we got that cut out. You can see, I mean, that's a big, big cut. Stick my hand inside there. Now, the reason, the whole reason we're cutting this out, see all those bubbles and whatnot in there? That's all porosity and imperfections from all the previous welding and the patch jobs and whatever. And that is what you want to get out of there because it's not done correctly. So I'm going to slowly carve away at this with the plasma until I feel like it's back into good material. And then I might bevel this a little bit. It probably doesn't need a bevel because there's such a huge gap. Um, and then we're, we'll uh, clean the backside, get a backing plate in there, start burning this sucker out. Probably take at least a couple hours to weld this. I mean, that's a decent sized crack. Um, and then we gotta check right here. It's pretty common they crack along those, the lugs they weld on there to hold the, the lines and stuff. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll cut away at this until, until all that porosity disappears. All right, got it cleaned up. I don't see any more porosity. We're gonna get it cleaned up and then we'll see what it looks like. Now we're gonna fit our backing plates in there. All right, here's the first pass, root pass or whatever. Everybody likes to see the first pass. There she is. All right, let's uh, burn a sucker out. All right, we're about 30 minutes in. Something kind of cool. I mean, this is essentially California desert.
friggin' snow over there. And then uh, over there, on those mountains, you kind of can't barely see them. Um, that's the grapevine. All right, let's get back at it here. All right, we're getting there. Almost got it. Not, not a whole lot left. Battery's gonna die on the phone, so I'm gonna, we'll get that welded up, and then I'll, I'll bring it back. All right, that's pretty close. Um, I'm gonna have to run a couple short beads right there. But as far as the long beads, that's, that's as much as I can get. So I'll probably start sanding it down and fill in the low spots and make it look like it would never happen. All right. <clears throat> Got her all blended in. We'll uh, shoot some paint on there. It's still just a little bit too hot for paint. If you shoot, it, shoot the cat paint on there too soon, it'll turn more of an orange color, kind of like a case, yellow. So we'll let that cool down, pull our tools away, and then uh, come back and paint that. Looks pretty good. Kind of hard to get right there. Um, I used a 3M Cubitron disc to blend all that. So those are available in my Amazon store. If you guys are in interested in trying them out, they work fantastic. Until they break her next time, should be looking good. Throw these lines on here now. There you go. All back together. Just like that, as soon as she's done, right back into service. Well, 
that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.